I want to welcome you out today. Uh, my name is Dr. Charles Smith. I'm a chiropractor. I've been in private practice for the last 20 years. And tonight we're going to talk about ASEA. Um, it's really important though, before we tell you what it is, uh, I want to tell you what it isn't. What it isn't is it's not a vitamin, it's not a mineral, it's not an antioxidant, it's not some exotic juice you know, from a berry from the Himalayas or anything like that. This is something completely different. You know, a lot of times when I'm explaining this to people, they say, oh, this is kind of like, oh, this. if anyone ever says kind of like, you can come back with them an unequivocal, no. It's not kind of like anything you've ever seen before. This is completely different, okay? Um, it goes beyond nutrition ingredients. It works at the cellular level. What it is, is the world's first and only redox signaling supplement, okay? Redox signaling. Most of you, including me, before I started to see it, I never knew what a redox signaling molecule was. So what is a redox signaling molecule? It's a, it's a new frontier of science. It's a category creator. It stands in a class of its own. The important thing about this is um, what they've done, stabilizing redox signaling molecules for years, science has said that would be impossible to do. So they have literally done the impossible. So what is redox signaling? If you Google redox signaling, now that's uh, right up around 400,000. But there are, you know, Re, you know, references to redox signaling. Right now there are six medical journals that are specifically dedicated just to the study of redox signaling. When I heard about this, like I said, I never heard of it before, so when I did research and found it, yes, redox signaling molecules are real, I found out what they do. So that's what we're going to explain to you right now. Um, but this is a very fast growing field in science right now. They want to discover and find out exactly what these molecules do because they're so important to our health and our cellular health. So just a quick explanation of what they do is this would be like a cell, and inside that cell we have these little uh, organelles called mitochondria. Mitochondria are responsible for producing ATP. ATP is the fuel or the energy that your cells use to get whatever they needed to be done. Um, it does that by a process, a chemical reaction called the Krebs cycle. It goes through this whole big thing. During that Krebs cycle it kicks out these two little salt water molecules. That's what redox signaling molecules are right here. When they first discovered the Krebs cycle, they thought that those salt water molecules were just a waste product, kind of like uh, exhaust coming out of your you know, engine. They really had no purpose. Well, back in the late 80s, early 90s, they discovered that those little molecules actually weren't just a waste. There isn't really any waste in nature that they played a significant role in our cellular health. So what do they do? In order for cells to be healthy, first thing they have to be is protected, okay? Um, everyone knows what an antioxidant is. Antioxidants protect our cells from something called free radical hits, something we're bombarded with all the time. Um, well, when we get on the CIA, a test results show that it increases your antioxidant effectiveness by 500%. In the beginning I said that the CIA is not an antioxidant, so how does that work? It turns out that antioxidants are like a light bulb. A light bulb sitting over here, and it really has no purpose until it's activated by electricity. Once it's activated by electricity, it's lit up and it serves a purpose. Antioxidants are the same way. They come into your body and unless they come in contact with that first redox signaling molecule, they really have no purpose. Once they're activated by that, then they can go out and block free rad radical hits and protect our cells like they're designed to. So the problem is a lot of times we have antioxidants that are floating around our system, but they don't come in contact with the redox signaling molecule because we're deficient in that. If we're deficient in that, um, it's kind of like a burnt out light bulb floating around with no purpose. When we can increase our activators for those antioxidants, we increase the antioxidant protection by 500%. So whatever you're doing right now for antioxidant protection, if you take a SIA, it will boost your protection by another 500%. And that's very significant. Um, so it also accelerates the body's production of its natural antioxidants. These things, glutathione, SOD, and catalase, those are super high powerful antioxidants. They're specific to each cell and they're only produced within the cell. You can't eat them. They have to be produced by the body. This stimulates more production of those things. Um, so protection is very important for cellular health, but there's also another half to this uh, puzzle of cellular health here, and that is cells eventually wear out. They get old, and they need to die off and be replaced by young, healthy cells. That's where the other redox signaling molecule comes into place. It is responsible for inner and extracellular communication. It decides when a cell is starting to break down, it's starting to serve its purpose, then has to make a decision. Is this cell damaged just a little bit, maybe we can repair it and get it back to 100%? Or is this cell serve its purpose and we need to get rid of that cell so it can be replaced by a new cell? Um, this is vital to healthy cells. Um, when we, uh, 
are out of balance in this in any way, that's when we get disease and tissues and disease and cells. When we talk about being healthy, what we're really talking about is a healthy heart is really healthy heart cells. A healthy stomach is healthy stomach cells. A healthy brain is healthy brain cells and so on. So when we're out of balance in this, if we don't have enough protection, that will give us chronic inflammatory problems, chronic infections, chronic pain, chronic degeneration, arthritis, anything where there's chronic inflammation, heart disease is another typical example. When we have areas like this, where this is out of balance and they're not being destroyed and replaced properly, then we get unhealthy cells that start to replicate. When unhealthy cells replicate out of control, we get growths like tumors, cancer, things like that. So it takes a real balance between these two systems to have healthy tissues. When we're out of balance one way or the other, disease will be a result. Now, ASEA gives us a perfect racemic mixture of those two molecules to keep us in perfect balance of protection and intercellular communication. So, um, redox cellular molecules are critical to the cellular healing process. This is something that will keep your cells healthy. So, you gotta ask yourself, you know, if our cells and those mitochondria are producing those things, why do we need to supplement with them? Well, the fact of the matter is, is we produce less redox cellular molecules as we age. That's just part of the aging process. When we're born, we have 100% cell efficiency. Efficiency, it goes downhill to where science has shown that at age 70, we're actually down to about 10% efficiency. When little kids run around and play all day, they don't wake up the next morning and go, oh, I'm just and sore, I don't want to do that again. When someone who's 70 or 80 is running around all day, the next day they most of the time don't want to get out of bed, okay? They don't recover as fast. A little kid may fall down and land on his hip, jumps right back up. Someone who's 70 may fall down and they may not get back up from that uh, because their cells just won't be able to heal like a young child. So the fact of the matter is, is we lose cell efficiency, and a big reason we lose cell efficiency is because our redox signaling molecules um, are decreasing. Why do they decrease? Well, every day our cells experience damage through pollutions, toxins, poor food choices, drugs, bacteria, viruses, stress, sun damage, just flat out wear and tear. All these things produce oxidative stress in our cells, and over time they add up. So how does that work inside your cell, or how does it make it so we produce less redox signaling molecules? Well, I like to use, use an analogy of a car. Let's say you've had a car for a long time. It's an old classic car. And over time, that car has kind of worn out. Maybe you've had some bad takes of gas. Maybe you haven't maintained as well as you should. Um, has anybody ever uh, you know, had any poor food choices in their life? Mm -hmm. Maybe you haven't taken care of that car just as well as, as you should have. Over time, that gunk starts to build up in the engine. And sooner or later, that engine isn't as efficient as it used to be. Now all of a sudden, instead of 100% efficiency, it's down 70, you know, 60%, whatever, and now all of a sudden it starts to blow smoke, and it's not running as well as it did when you bought it. Our cells go through the same thing. When we're exposed to all these different things, when we're a baby, we've got this beautiful, bright little bag of salt water inside our cells. As we age, all of a sudden that salt water has got a result of the oxidative stress that comes off from all these different things that we're exposed to. Well, the problem is, is the engine for the cell has to operate in that environment. And when it's full of these toxic things, that mitochondria, when it has garbage coming in, it has garbage going out. So it's kind of like, instead of puffing off a nice little redox sending molecule, it literally lets out a little oxidative puff of smoke, which adds to further you know, oxidation within that cell. It's kind of like a vicious cycle, and that's one of the reasons why we continue to age as we, as we go on. And so, um, up to this point, so as that oxidative puff of smoke comes on, obviously we're producing less redox signaling molecules as well. It's also a, just a fact of science that we peak of our ATP production at about age 20, and from there it starts to go downhill. So the less ATP we, we produce, the less redox signaling molecules we produce. So up until now, if we were short in redox signaling molecules, there was really no way to bring that back up. It's just like any other disease you want to talk about, say, uh, you know, this, this vitamin related, say, um, if you're low on vitamin C, you'll end up with a disease called scurvy. Sailors used to get it. So to cure that, what do you do? You take more vitamin C. Well, we all know that we age, we all know that there comes a time when our redox signaling molecules are low. Um, there's no vitamin we take, there's no food we can eat, there's nothing that we can do to replenish those redox signaling molecules until now. Now we have a CIA, it's a stabilized redox signaling molecule, stabilized outside the body. We can take it uh, right into our system and replenish those redox signaling molecules. 
give that environment inside the cell a nice, healthy environment to work on. Um, and it, what it does for us, in summary here, is it activates our antioxidants, gives us 500% you know, more protection. It also dramatically improves intercellular communication. It makes those decisions on should we repair this cell or should we destroy that cell quicker and more, efficient, more efficiently. So we can keep that in balance and keep our cells healthy. Um, so once thought impossible, ASEA is completely a game changer. Like I said, for 20 years they've known about this. It's been studied for 20 years. The research on it though hasn't been, you know, um, what can we do with these? It's been all about what can we do to stimulate the body to produce more of these because we know that's a vital part of health that, that has been, you know, that decreases as we age. Imagine the most so, perfect machine capable of powering itself, repairing and protecting itself and functioning at optimal efficiency until the very second it is no longer needed, and then leaving detailed instructions for building its own replacement. That's the way every cell in your body is designed to work. But we all know our bodies don't always work quite that well. Sometimes we're tired when we know we shouldn't be. Sometimes we run out of energy before we run out of day. We get run down and as we age, we get aches, pains and wrinkles. So if our cells are so perfectly engineered, why does all this happen? Why do we age at all? Scientists have been asking these questions for centuries, but the answer is really very simple. It's all about balance. That's where ASEA comes in. The science behind ASEA is based on 16 years of groundbreaking research. And this single, easily drinkable liquid are the essential natural molecules that your body needs to help restore balance and function to cells so they operate effectively, thoroughly repair themselves, and make maximum use of antioxidants. Let's take a look at how ASEA works. Scientists have discovered that two sets of reactive molecules found naturally in cells are critical for immune function. One set fortifies the immune system and facilitates communication within and between cells. The other set of molecules performs the critical functions of protecting the cell and activating antioxidants. Without these reactive molecules, the body's antioxidants would be ineffective, so your cells could gradually be oxidized and destroyed. A cell in the state of oxidative stress is chemically unbalanced and has failed to protect itself from the ravages of oxidation. As you age, your body produces less of these two sets of reactive molecules, and ASEA is the first and only science-based product that supplements them. Even though these molecules are created and used in the body in seconds, ASEA's scientists have discovered the way to lock in these two critical sets of reactive molecules and make them shelf-stable for more than a year. Until now, there was no way to supplement the body with the reactive molecules necessary to fortify the immune system. With ASEA, you can restore the cellular balance that the immune system must have to function at its optimal level. Redox signaling molecules are absolutely crucial to maintaining peak efficiency in cell function. It's all about homeostasis and balance and what it does is allow your body to perform at its maximum, at its best level. It enables you to go into your cells, repair whatever cell damage has been done, make them work better, and then if you add exercise and diet onto that, you'll be even healthier. This is a, a remarkable process because it is actually the process which allows us to regenerate tissue and maintain our health. This technology has the potential of spearheading some of the greatest advances of health in the world. The possibility of being able to stabilize redox signaling molecules and use them as bioactive, non-toxic agents inside our body is phenomenal. And um, it will make a difference and it will be the future technology that will affect almost all areas of health science and well-being.